Hey friends, welcome back. Today we're getting my life together postpartum. If uh, you have not been around for a while, we have finally welcomed our second baby girl into the world, baby Daisy. You'll see little glimpses of her here and there throughout this video. Um, this video was filmed pretty soon after postpartum. I felt pretty good a couple weeks in, or a couple days in actually. And uh, Christian was still taking Maddie out on adventures throughout the day, giving me a break, giving me a chance to just bond with baby girl and just get used to this new life. And every now and then I'd get the uh, need to clean in our crazy house. We're also getting ready for some crazy renovations. Actually, the night that I'm doing this voiceover, we just had a bunch of walls taken down and built in and put up and new bathtub installed and all kinds of crazy stuff renovation wise. Head over to Instagram if you want sneak peeks of that, but those videos will come soon. But before we get there, I kind of needed to reset my life and get things together. Now that we have finally welcomed baby girl and we're finding our new normal, trying to get into a little routine as a family and figure out what's happening in our lives. And another uh, fun little update is baby girl was big. She was almost nine pounds when she was born. And so all the, none of the newborn stuff we had pulled out and washed in previous nesting videos uh, fit her. So I am going through all of this clothing. This is actually all of Maddie and Daisy's clothes and I'm going to pull out all the newborn clothing. We store all of the extra clothes for the girls in these clear plastic bins because we are not done having babies, so setting that aside for future kiddos. Then I'm also going through and just sorting through all of Maddie's laundry and stuff, pulling out things she has outgrown. Uh, we don't have a great organization in this house yet because this room is You've heard this spiel before. We're not settled into this house yet. We're building new rooms all the time. And so Maddie and Daisy are sharing this dresser for storage along with a bunch of other random junk. And that's the first focus of this video, just getting this dresser under control because it was chaotic. Um, a big factor to the chaos, besides me just needing to go through and pull out things that the girls have outgrown, is uh, the fact <laughs> that it's not baby proofed. Uh, Maddie would love to come in here and try on her clothes and pull all of it out and just typical toddler stuff. But uh, we finally bought some baby locks and we uh, use a different kind. I've had a couple different kinds before, but I thought this would work best for a dresser. And it's this kind that's just like command strips that stick on, it's a two piece system and you have a little magnet. And when you have your magnet and you hold it over the locked portion of the uh, drawer, it unlocks it and you can open it. So you have to use the magnet to open the drawer. So so toddler proof, perfect. Really hoping I don't lose said magnet, but I think it should be pretty easy to keep track of. So while we are also clearing out and organizing and decluttering all of these drawers, I am also toddler proofing it, which is much, much needed in this household. People knew her by her will to make it whatever she put her mind to Late night hours up the hill Serving coffee to strangers Talking about revenue She kept dreaming of a world Big enough for everyone Though she knew it must rain before it grows She kept dreaming of the day Butterflies survive the wheel even though she could knock down and never showed I also have to rave about these organizers I found from Amazon. I've tried the IKEA multi-packs that are different sizes, but I found that this like longer skinny size is my absolute favorite, and you can buy just this single size from Amazon. So it's specifically great for kids clothing, not so great for like adult clothing, but if you have little ones to be organizing a dresser for, definitely, definitely recommend these over any other dresser organizers. I've tried a bunch. These are my go-to, my absolute faves. Now this room needed to get cleaned out for the renovations to be happening, so I'm gonna be managing all of our bedding and pillows and blankets by putting them into big black contractor bags just to keep them safe and clean while we move them into the basement for a little while. Um, you'll also see me freak out a little bit when we pull the sheets off of this bed. We had a, a little spider critter climb up onto the beds and uh, I, I called in reinforcements. I asked Christian to come take care of uh, exterminating it and then going to wash the sheets afterwards, but mostly we're moving on to clearing this room out so it's ready for renovations. And then we're gonna move on to finishing up baby proofing the dresser and then cleaning up the top of it. It 
It feels like my life's been very crazy the last couple of months, weeks, waiting for baby, baby coming, and now she's almost a month old, which I can't wrap my head around. But I feel like I haven't really chatted with you guys a lot. I've been really chatty over on Instagram recently. But uh, let me know down in the comments, like, what's new for you guys? How are you guys doing? Do you guys have any exciting house projects you're working on? Any DIY projects you're doing yourself? Let me know about it. Let me know uh, any fun ideas you have for our home either. I just, I miss chatting with you guys. So fill me in on what's new in your life down below in the comments. Okay, so my mom is a queen sale shopper, and I guess at the end of the Christmas season last year, she bought a bunch of books, and I mean like a lot. Like I think we probably have at least 20 maybe Christmas books my mom bought for Maddie to have. I moved them all into that white bag that I just had on top of the dresser and then brought down to the basement. And I love the idea of doing like a little custom advent calendar for Maddie. I've seen people go like all out, like they have 25 activities, 25 different crafts, or like really intense, like well thought out ones. And I am not that organized this year, but I think I might have enough Christmas books that we could do like a little book advent situation for Maddie, like a new book every day for her for the month of December leading up to Christmas. I think that might be fun. She might not be into all of them, but uh, I'll feel like a good little Pinterest worthy mom if I do that. So that might be a fun little Christmas craft we're doing with Maddie. Now thanks to Atlas Coffee Club for sponsoring this portion of the video. Another way I'm getting my life together is by staying caffeinated and having fun with my coffee at home through an Atlas Coffee Club subscription. Atlas Coffee Club offers monthly coffee deliveries right to your door from all around the world. Each month they highlight coffee and culture from over 50 different countries. We've already received two different bags from Peru and one from Tanzania. You can also cancel, pause, or skip your subscription at any time. Christian and I always have at least one cup of coffee together every day despite the craziness of renovations and life with two under two. Atlas Coffee Club gives us something to talk about and indulge in together. We end up talking about which bag would be best for our morning drip coffee, or if we should use the beans for an Americano or cappuccino instead. Atlas Coffee Club is also offering you guys 50% off and free shipping on your first month of coffee with code Allison McPhail. I'll share more info in the description if you're interested in upping your cup of coffee too. And thanks again to Atlas Coffee Club for sponsoring this portion of the video. Let you know now back to the less glamorous, less exciting things for getting my life together, including cleaning up the little postpartum basket I put in our bathroom. Thankfully, we don't need most of these items anymore, so I am pulling things out that I might still use, throwing out things that will be expired by maybe the next time we'd have another baby, and then moving anything left over into a bin to put into storage, basically. And then we're moving on to uh, what life looks like <laughs> with a toddler. This looks really messy, but uh, it's the reality of our living room. It's a very narrow living room and so everything that natty plays with is very concentrated in this space and you can just see lots of stuff gets pulled out on the daily uh christian had maddie out of the house while i was doing this part of the filming so i had a chance to just hit reset on this space make it clean make it tidy pull things out from under the couch um daisy was very happy to just stretch out on the floor she is a very different baby from maddie in that aspect and that she is like fine to just chill and hang out and just be there so she is cooing and cawing and just being very happy on the ground while i pick up all of maddie's toys and clean up and reset the house for this toddler to come back home to It's really funny for me to think back on my first postpartum experience with Maddie and how uh, very serious I took it and got all of the diaper caddy specific baskets and organizers and everything specific to baby. And now I'm literally just looking at a pile of like, I don't know, 10 newborn diapers just sitting on the edge of my couch. And that's my uh, diaper changing station for baby number two now. Uh, I have a basket, but most of the time uh, Maddie just plays with the diapers and they end up everywhere or baby goes through so many. I just keep a fat stack 
up within arm's reach at all times. I don't even bother with the little uh, diaper mats anymore, but uh, just funny the things that you do differently from the first baby to the second baby. We also consolidated all of our shoe storage to be in this hall closet. Uh, if you've been keeping up with the house, you know I want this hall closet demolished, hopefully soon, I don't know, maybe early 2024. Um, I've also switched back to the fireplace needs to go. We've had a few close calls with like Maddie like tripping and hitting it and there were also some nights where she was just on a tear and wanted to just run laps around the house and I just know that she's gonna need more square footage to just run and play and be a little kid and uh, this fireplace just takes up way too much square footage to be worth it in my opinion especially because it's not functional right now. So I definitely am back on getting rid of this hall closet, getting rid of the fireplace. I know it's going to take away from some of the character of the home, but I think for like the function of our family, square footage is worth its weight in gold right now. So definitely looking forward to when that project can be worked on and started on. And uh, I'm very excited to see the possibilities of this living room, even though I'll be sad to see the fireplace go. Now at this point, Christian was basically doing everything for me, Maddie, Daisy, Bucky, the house. He was taking care of all of that, so some things just weren't on the to-do list, like vacuuming. But you guys know that Bucky sheds so much. I should have shown you like close-up clips of how much dog hair had built up on the carpet and couch. It was really gross. Christian definitely wishes we did not put the dog on the couch, but I just don't know how to change it at this point or have the heart to. So uh, now that I was feeling up to it a little bit more, I was finally vacuuming that. Definitely emptying out the uh, vacuum a couple of times throughout vacuuming the whole house because it had just gotten really, really bad. I also didn't film it, but this day I went and brushed Bucky outside, which definitely helps with all the dog hair. You're also gonna see me head over to the kitchen and clean up a little bit. Uh, it looks really messy in there because it is. And I didn't really clean much. I just picked up everything off of the floor and just left all the dishes on the counter because I'm just doing my best and trying to get done what I could at this point and get my life together a little bit more, which was having a clean floor in this room. Okay, real talk, I meant to start filming and do more organizing and cleaning because there are many parts of my house that I wanna get together to help get my life together, especially in these postpartum days. I just don't have it in me right now. It's already 10 a.m. and today has been a disaster of a day, kind of. I'm trying to stay optimistic. That's something Christian's really good at is pointing out when I'm being negative and just making that my reality and just sitting in that versus just being positive and looking for the silver lining and trying to turn the day around. But uh, sometimes those newborn days, especially with all the renovations happening in our home, I have a very, very hard time doing that. So I'm trying to remind myself to do that right now. But part of getting my life together is literally cleaning my house and organizing stuff and I wanna share that. So the first, I don't know, 12 minutes of this video were that, but uh, now it's just the reality of, I need to sit, I need to rest, I need to breathe. <laughs> Daisy's supposed to be napping, she's not, maybe she is now, I don't really know. I don't hear her hiccuping anymore, so maybe we're getting a nap in. Um, we're just, we're just busy. Today's already been super, super hard and it's 10 a.m. And like I said, I'm trying to not be negative about it. I'm trying to be positive. I was gonna go clean and film and all of this stuff and I just don't have it in me today. So right now, I just wanted to chat. I just wanna tell you that it's okay if it's not all together. Getting your life together doesn't mean having a perfectly pulled together home. I've already edited part of this video so I know that there's a part in the kitchen where I just picked up the trash off the floor and then called it clean in the kitchen and uh, that's how I'm feeling about the house right now. I'm just calling it clean. I wiped down the table over there, I made breakfast and did the dishes and I, I'm done. I'm done right now and that's okay and I wanted to remind you guys of that too, that it's okay to just be done and getting your life together does not mean having your home perfectly organized in every little way. I can't even have that right now. I will show you a little sneak peek. I'm sharing a whole video about this soon so stay tuned if you want way more info on this but uh, there's no way my life could be together when my house currently looks like this and the toddler is sleeping in our bedroom at night and I'm sleeping on the couch next to the bassinet with the newborn. But just wanted to remind you that yes, this video is titled Get My Life Together, but I don't feel like I have it together. I'm tired. I've been mean to my husband already today. I've been mean to my toddler and I am overstimulated, overtouched, but I'm gonna try to make it better. So reminder for you guys, you can try to make your day better too. Sometimes it's hard, sometimes it's impossible, but you can always try. And so I'm gonna do that now. 
I'm gonna sit next to my baby um, and think about how I can make my day better. I can be nicer to the people around me and my family. I can be more, I don't know. I don't, I'm gonna just be a nicer person today. That's my goal. That's my one goal today for getting my life together is I'm gonna be nicer to everybody around me because everybody's tired and everybody's overstimulated. That's the end of my rant. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. Thanks for hanging out on this video, cleaning, organizing, chatting, all of the things. Life with a newborn is so rewarding and so difficult. I'll give you a little sneak peek of her because I think she is asleep. She's been doing most of her little naps during the day in this little snuggle me pillow. We use this for Maddie and absolutely love it. She does sleep in a bassinet at night when she's not supervised, but uh, for daytime naps and a little newborn days, this pillow is everything. But that's our life update, getting my life together turned into me having my life fall apart a little bit, but we can all do better. So here's to doing better. Here's to you guys having a better day, having a great day. Let me know how your day is going down in the comments. I will see you guys next week. Bye.